How to Slay a Wig 101. Lindsay, welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got this fabulous hairstyle I wanna show you guys. I am wearing a wig, this is not my natural hair. Um, and this unit is from Wow Ebony. I've never tried Wow Ebony, la, 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 la. never tried Wow, mm. get it together, girl. I've never tried Wow Ebony before, so I was super excited when I got this in the mail. I'm like, please be good, please be good, please be good hair, and this is amazing hair. It's still super, super soft, I've had it like, several weeks now and the hair is still super soft. I wanna show you guys like what the ends look like. But the hair did not come looking just like this. I did style it, so I'll show you guys how I did that. So this is the hair I was wearing when you guys saw those Fenty pictures, uh, the stunner pictures of the red lip. Girl, in those pictures, I did not have this part here. I just kinda like brushed all the hair back, like covering the part. So, apparently that wasn't okay because I definitely got some shade on Twitter about me not having a part in my wig, but we're gonna be all right, girls. The part is there, we can breathe again, we are cool, right? Are we good? No? If not, let me know, we can fix it, I promise. So this is what the Wow Ebony box looks like. Inside you will get two wig caps. You'll also get an elastic band if you do want to um, adjust the wig cap if you need it tighter. They do have an elastic band for you. They also threw in two uh, like styling clips, well not styling clips, like parting clips, some thread and a needle. So if you need to fix up anything up in there or sew anything down, they got you. They threw in a cute little pocket purse mirror for on the go. There's also ooh, their little manual book thing. They've got a bunch of other influencers in here wearing different styles of wigs and hairs, and they all look gorgeous. Lastly, there's a little card describing um, their little cashback program that they have if you do order from the site. I do have a handful of like plain, dark, simple wigs that look like this, but something about this one, I don't know. The hair is just so incredibly soft. Now, I haven't washed it yet, so maybe if I wash it, the softness might come out a little bit. I should have tested that before filming, but I'll keep y'all updated. So this unit is 20 inches. It's 1B color. Um, it has three combs, one, two, three, adjustable straps in the back, and I did like glue down the hairline just a little bit so that it's laying a little bit flatter. Here, sorry, I have to like burp. I don't know what's happening. It's a 180 density wig, which I feel like this is the perfect density for my face shape if that makes sense. I have tried larger densities and I feel like it just like, it looks like a wig, I look like a witch. I feel like I'm wearing like a witch wig. So I think 180 is good for me because it's still, when you feel it, it feels thin, but the look of it is like, boom, 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 you know. I love this unit so much and I love the look I did with this. So let's get into it. I'll show you guys how I did this hairstyle and you can rock it this holiday season. So the wig is on, as you can see, it's very messy right now. There is no style, but we gonna fix it, girl, all right? I did not change the parting, um, but I did add some layers just like kind of in the front to frame my face a little bit better so it's not just dragging, you know? And the hair does come down like right above my belly button. It's like right there. So yeah, let's style this and make some magic happen. If you know me and you've watched my previous wig videos, you know I don't really rock with wig caps like that. I don't. So I don't have a wig cap on. Um, I did not mess with the parting like I said. I did put a little bit of my Got To Be Ultra glued on the hairline just to lay that a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the curls now and then I'll go back and touch up my baby hairs when I'm done. So today I'm just... I just knocked all these hairsprays over. I'm gonna be using my Bio Ionic Curling Iron. I use that as a wand though, so I don't use this clamp. Um, I did a video on this like last year, I think, where I did use the clamp. Love the curls, but I like it more as a curling wand. So we're gonna be using this today. This curl has been here for like three days. So the curls do last pretty well with this hair. I feel like the holidays is all about like that medium length kind of like medium small curl. You could do what you want, but I want like the smallish medium sized curls. And of course it depends on the size of the barrel for your curling wand, curling iron, whatever you use. Woo! But yeah, that's what we're going for. So I'm really just doing this all around the hair. It does take a while, so this is not, ooh, this is not a quick and easy hairstyle on the go type thing like you gotta take some time for this. If you don't trust yourself, uh, wear a glove. Do y'all see this? I'm like 
My eczema is coming back, I think. I'm not here for that. Um, yeah, if you don't trust yourself, just use a glove. You'll be all right, I promise. Y'all see how bouncy this is? Also, for a better curl trick, once you curl it, pin it up so you can have them like resting until you're ready to go and pull them all out. But you know, we're not really, I'm really not going anywhere. I baked another pecan pie. Like this is, I'm not doing anything. I just like, I wanted to do this video for you guys. Um, so yeah, I baked a pecan pie. I could be stuttling, stuttling. Yeah, let's stuttle. Could be studying for finals, but like, I think curling your hair is more fun. You know? Have y'all been seeing these fires in LA though? Like, this is wild. I open my door and it just smells like a big bonfire. Like, it's not cute at all. My contacts get dry, my eyes start burning. Really, your girl's in danger. All right, so we finished with this side. I'm not like running my fingers through it or anything. We're just gonna leave that like this. Look how pretty though. So now I just have to do the right side of my head and then we'll play with it and style it, keep it in place, all of that. Put that up and work with the bottom section first. Um, yeah, you guys missed it, but I definitely burned my finger like super badly. <laughs> mm, just burn my neck. Do y'all want to see a video of Lee doing my hair? Should you do my hair? Like how to apply a wig or like, do y'all want to see a makeup video? Also, I want to thank you guys for all the love on our boyfriend tag video. It just passed like 100,000 views, so y'all are awesome, thank you. There's so many new people here. Welcome to my channel. I'm also super happy you guys enjoy that Thanksgiving vlog. It was all over the place, and there's so much I cut out of there that it's just so funny, but like not appropriate. So yeah, there were other funny clips, but I had to take those out. I was trying not to have the vlog too long, but I feel like you guys like these super long vlogs. All right, this is the last piece, folks. Final stretch, the home stretch, the, what is it called? Make sure that's a good one. Those front pieces, make sure they're real crisp. Like even if you wanna use a wand and like use your straightener, obviously the straightener goes faster. If you wanna use the straightener for the back pieces, um, like to curl the bottom back parts of your hair and just the wand for the top, you can totally do that. This is a wholesome hairstyle. All right, I'm back to fix these edges. So, we got the toothbrush. <laughs> We've got the edge control. Y'all can disagree with me if you want, um, but I personally don't think your baby hair slash edges should be greasy, should be crunchy, should be overdone. They're called baby hairs for a reason. They're supposed to be cute, fluffy little baby hair. Not fluffy like stick out, like fluffy like still soft. So, um, I am using my Argan Oil um, Perfect Edges from Cream of Nature. Now flyaways are natural. It's okay if you have flyaways, but we can kind of tame them. That's nice. If you want to bring out these, I want to bring out some here too. You can do that. Run through these curls a bit so they're not so stuck together. You know, just pull them apart. Pull them apart. Then taking my Got To Be Smooth Operator Spray. Nothing has changed here, people. I do use the same products I've always used. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Spray the hair, even back here on these flyaways. And then just play around with it, girl. Do what you want. Strike a pose. Ooh, look at those, look at that bounce. I am proud of this hairstyle, y'all. Like, this this came out really well. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the hair, about any hair products I use, any recommendations, any questions about wigs in general, anything, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Be sure to check the description box. I've got all the wig details and the products I used, again, if you didn't catch it during the video. Good luck on finals for those of you taking them, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.